Yeah, definitely not a lot of characters that I could see uh, all the time. I mean, like, again, you know, Great Sword came out and it was amazing. We had to kind of put it down for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, you know, I feel like a lot of people actually put it down, but it's nice to see some Great Sword enthusiasts still out here. I won't say the Crocky's obviously a Great Sword enthusiast, but I'm sure he had to learn something about this Ooh. weapon, seeing that, you know, it's in his hand and will be in his hand every now and then. And, and then in addition, right, with Arcadia, you get that unique property on both weapons with the down stick, where that is active for a lot longer than Arcadia stuck in the animation. So right. if you get it delayed enough, you get a true combo into whatever move you want. And it's a great setup for your teammate, which we were talking about. Oh, Crocky's wow. out of there. We were talking about how, like, what do you do with a great sword? Well, you play Arcadia and the down stick set up for your teammate to do whatever team combos you want. I was thinking just about that. He was like, all right, this down stick is definitely there for, hey, please hit this. Like, I, I've, I've served it up for you. <laughs> just find whatever strong hit you can. Unfortunately, they're not really getting a lot of hits at all right now. The damage yeah. is not stacking up here on the red side of things. Wow, we are about to lose that second stock here for uh, Crocky. Damn, Ooh, yeah. he's got to watch out. Yeah, that downer comes through. If Hardy MJ was able to get that correctly, get a nair true combo follow up, but oh, Prophet X in the bottom of the stage getting stage spiked, and that down air just barely whiffs. Oh, they are fighting out there. Okay, I like that pickup that st Stingray tried to get. That would have definitely forced probably off that stock, seeing that a lot of, uh, of the area options were already spent and used. Okay, Hardy gonna make it back to stage freely. Oh man, this is uh, <laughs> this is pretty brutal on, one, uh, on the red team side here. That neutral stick hits another neutral stick hits. Crocky uh, almost out in under two minutes here at this rate. Profit looking for an opening there with that down air. Oh, okay, yeah, the, yeah. Oh. All right, you know, for for the boys, for the heart of says, for the boys, we'll give you guys he, one. He needs to get those knockouts so that he can go godlike, right? He was, uh, <laughs> that's just he's dominated there. Oh man. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a stop. And the thing is, like, I mean, we're talking we're talking a lot about uh, the great sword and whatever, but the, you have to, you really got to go back to talk about how Stingray has played just throughout this time. I've been watching him. Uh, uh -huh. That lance play has been pretty insane throughout the entire tournament. Yeah, and with uh, Spear getting more and more favorability, right? And you've got amazing lance, and then a weapon that's just amazing in doubles in general, you've got yourself a terrifying opponent. Yeah, oh, wow. Uh -oh. Pivot Dare? Oh, okay. Uh, well, nice turnaround, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. You are, this is a lot of stock shoot. Does, ru that does ruin his kill streak, right? That, yeah. That, 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 that's the problem as the down stick comes through. Gets the JV. RDMJ celebrating a little bit early on. Okay. TK, that was a one-sided game one. Yeah, that was disgusting. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, there's not, sometimes you just can't, like, you can't really paint it any other way. Like, they, they almost got six docked. It was close. Yeah, yeah. and so. the only reason why they didn't is because Hardy MD decided to literally KO his teammate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's, it's kind of like, well, this is, yeah, we're looking at the graphs there. Ooh, that's just, that's just inflation right there. Coming look, how, look how <laughs> much <laughs> space is after Crocky on his stock. Oh, yeah. He died so early. Ooh, yeah. We're getting we're getting a replay of that nair off the top, too. Yeah, Crocky not even dodging at those recoveries. Everybody just goes down there off the side of the map. And at, the, at this point, they're just like, what do we want to do? So we're going to go to a slightly larger stage, right? Crocky gets a little bit more survivability here. Uh, Profit? Um, oh, okay. Profit really just baiting in something. Uh, towards the beginning and now Crocky with the great sword. Let's see if we can get some setups there with that down stick. I don't think we saw a single one connect. And it kinda like ruined my excitement. Yeah. <laughs> I was like I was like, look at all the potential. All right. Well game two. Crocky, I feel there like he's go. also been stuck like on his not there it is, his not yeah. favorite weapon of the spear. I've seen him with a, a great sword in his hand quite a bit. And I'm not saying that he doesn't know what he's doing with that, but we all know that he definitely knows what, he, what he's doing with that spear. I would so. say pretty confidently that Hardy MJ has more experience on the weapon. Okay. That's yeah, no. <laughs> and when it comes to those mirror matchups, sometimes it can just be rough, but oh man, the cider's coming through. Gravity cancel side sig when Negan does that. Uh, the grounded and the aerial hitboxes are a little different, so he's trying to take advantage of that. But that neutral Ooh. sig won't KO quite yet, but still a huge lead for the red team. Okay, here we go. Crocky finally getting himself a punch right here. One thing I am definitely noting, Crocky's kind of conservative with the way that he's playing with these. Like, I don't see him throwing out any moves. Like, he's just kind of jumping around the stage right now. This is very very 2018 Brawl Hall. We got to throw some moves out here, brother. Well, uh, <laughs> we were talking about how long Crocky's been in the scene, right? He yeah. just picks, picks the year that he wants to play with the play style. Something I've noticed is uh, both Spear and Greatsword, he's gravity canceling the down stick a lot, hoping to catch a jump. Uh, and Hardy and Stingray are just standing there, waiting for the move to be finished, and then putting more damage in. Look at that alley oop. Goes in for the side sig right afterwards, and Prophet does get back, but only after going from white to orange. Ooh, okay. All right, that's nice. Like th that uh, recovery off the top. And, oh, I thought Stingray was going to go down there. 
Yeah, Stingray just barely living there. I mean, he is hurt, so, but so is Crocky. But the thing is, both of them, okay, Ooh. finally gets that stock off. He's like, I'm going to put my team into an advantage. But Stingray, you know, as a, oh, I was like, Hardy, not again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that that went a little bit more of an accident. Uh, saved by the fact that that team damage, you don't have not as much force. So oh, Crocky, what? <gasps> gets the recovery. Hardy low on jumps. Okay, he gets the chase dodge activate off of that, uh, that damage there. But when you're sweating above the stage, that can be pretty scary. Profit, though, goes down to one stock. Uh, and the roles are reversed a little bit here for the blue team as we go into game two. Yeah, I mean, this time, Crocky is actually able to live a little longer, uh, actually staying in this game for quite some time. But here on the other side, Profit, you know, got to watch the damage. They are struggling to get some stage footing right here. The positioning all on the side of the red team. Yeah. Hey, finally doing it. Ooh, recovery could get it. Okay, Hardy goes down to one stock, and Profit hasn't taken too much damage here. The dares from Stingray are pro uh, pressuring Profit, but the weapon throw saves Profit from getting comboed by the Lance recovery. But a lot of damage coming in here, and Hardy MJ with the save on the neutral stick. Stingray with the neutral stick afterwards, and Crocky now stuck in a 1v2, two stocks to three. Yeah, man. Got, he kind of became victim to the Brawlhalla scramble right there, when every time one person gets hit, they get punished by the other teammate, and it goes back and forth, and someone eventually loses that stock. So it happens to be Profit this time uh, and now yeah you said crocky you know this is i would say this is possible but it is very very improbable right now yeah uh crocky's likely gonna be thinking about the next game i mean the, on the bright side the survivability was massive i think crocky took oh okay Hardy. Uh, you know oh my goodness the, but, uh, like I the, 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 was a ground weapon, the <laughs> possibility has just been sacked like i'm <laughs> yeah. um, in one combo like you have to go now but yeah i think we're thinking about this next game that was all hardy mj now stingray says you know what let me let oh, me try no, no they're reading you they're embarrassing you. <laughs> di three diagonal dodges <laughs> down oh oh, oh. No. Okay, Crocky, well, make it, oh, Clash, oh, and he almost gets unarmed sidelighted. Oh. All right, well, they, I mean, they both had their, they definitely just said, hey, we're, you know, we're going to go ahead and make a highlight reel 760 for 760 damage taken, though. Lots of survivability from Crocky. I for mean, that's sure. something. <laughs> okay, it's, a, it's an improvement from the last game. Uh, we're going to go, going back to Apocalypse, oh, we're getting a replay of that, oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> He's no, this is down. every time. Oh, the down lights, I think it was like three of them in a row the knockout here while they can't quite get it. They did cover everything. Yeah. Yeah, no, that was just, I mean, look, Hardy MJ started that stock with a pretty crazy string. Then Stingray, you know, got in there, got a lot of nares and uh, and down lights. So, yeah, probably not the best ending there for Crocky, but, you know, still, we're in it. We're still in this set. We still got some games to work with. Maybe we can make something happen here in this third game. I like the start from uh, from Crocky and Profit here. Crocky's been fighting mostly unarmed, and Profit was able to get a team combo with the sword, get the D lights. Crocky's still waiting for that first pickup, uh, but so far an advantage is they've been getting a lot of damage on Hardy, and that's the spear in the opening. Nice snare into the side. There goes for the down second. I think it caught. It that was did catch Hardy, <laughs> but unfortunately got hit out of it, and, and also Profit was nowhere near there to like make anything happen. So uh, right, rough. Uh, but still, this is the best start they could have asked for. Uh, yep. Cider gets Hardy off the side of the stage. The downtick forces him to jump high, but the Nair doesn't beat out that uh, jumping Cider from Hardy. But Profit's keeping Stingray away from Crocky, and Crocky's winning in the 1v1 against Hardy. They might as well just keep this up, keep the yeah. red team separated. It might be, yeah, it might be the two 1v1s that you need. All right, that is going to work out for a KO. And I got sandwiched right there, but now here it is. Now, this is Stingray. I don't know what it is about Stingray, but he is able to play within that sandwich position quite well. He almost never ends up getting, like, full team combo for a stock, and he finds a stock himself. No, two down six coming out, or two neutral six coming out. Nothing. I'm going to go ahead and take it just yet, though. Yeah, it's uh, it's unusual where in any other situation, I'm like, you probably should get out of there. And yeah. Stingray is like, watch, watch me down six. And I, I thrive here. So yeah. I'm like, all right, well. Oh, doesn't thrive there, so that down air is going to find it. And now that's going to put them in the lead. This is good for the blue team. Yeah, Profit's been really uh, cleaning his act up here from game number two. And Crocky's still doing just as well with the survivability coming in from game two as well. Uh, but now we have to see what happens here with the red team focusing down Profit. Uh, with Crocky spending as much time as he did coming back to the stage, they took advantage of Profit's position, brought him to the orange. But Hardy MJ's in a similar situation, and he almost gets that alley -oop, but the dare's a little too slow, and Hardy MJ ends up getting a stare on his way back to the stage. Who's going down first, TK? It looks like, oh, is it gonna be Crocky? No, oh. Profit off the top, while Hardy gets four clean hits on Crocky on the edge of the stage. All right, man, that's a way to do it, man. Oh, Profit, you know, he was just struggling to find his way down, and now Profit already kind of hurt, and you are playing Koji, he doesn't have the craziest amount of defense in the oh Ooh. okay he's got to get back to the stage doesn't even need it this game has flipped immediately the red team you know was uh did not get the first stocks but they've been able to take every stock since 
Yeah. Got a lot of I got a lot of damage here onto Hardy MJ, who is Oh, nice. Okay, good down air. Good, good reversal. Yeah, nice punish from that side air that Hardy tried to combo in out of the dare. He goes down. Hardy hits Profit away, though, and Crocky undamaged, but Profit a side sig away uh, from being knocked out of the tournament, basically. Because if he goes down here, three stocks to one, that's tough for Crocky. Yeah, that's going to be a, a hard sell for sure. But Profit, you know, playing in a very dangerous position for the amount of health, uh, health that he Got has it. right now. Like, what he is working. I mean, he is definitely fighting from the corner at the corner, and he has got a KO off of that, too, so Ooh, might be able to turn this around. There's Hardy can't land. Oh, oh. he wasn't oh. looking. Yeah, he was so focused on catching Hardy's landings that uh, he didn't see that Stingray came right right from underneath him there. So now Crocky in this 1v2. Okay, the Beatles on the table. <laughs> he can take Hardy MJ off of that. He just charges forward. All right, Spear Ground out of the stage. Oh, okay. Wow, just barely I, avoid I, I that. I thought he was done for. I for sure, but it, that actually is going to be it right there. The ground pound. You saw the sweat beats way down there, even after the recovery. So that's going to be it. Man, dominant performance yet again here from Stingray and Hardy MJ. Yes. Uh, about as as dominant as it's expected to be, considering uh, the the experience and the, the PR coming out from Crocky and Profit. I mean, a wonderful job for them to be able to make an upset over a team that some people were thinking of going to get into top three of this tournament, but Stingray and Hardy MJ are just an incredibly fierce competitor uh, when it comes to them working together as a team. Oh yeah. And we, we I mean, it, they kind of thrived in the environment that Crocky and Profit were setting up for them too. You mentioned something about 2018 Brawlhalla, but th there's different play styles that you can take those approaches yeah, yeah. in 2v2s. And Crocky like very much felt like to me was going in there with the strategy of like, okay, I'll go to the side of the stage and get these setups with Downsig. And by the time that he walked over there, everything was on fire. Yeah. <laughs> like they just couldn't get this plan started to begin with. Yeah, I mean, I think that's